Hey everyone, today we're going to be talking about building your cash machine. Your business is a cash machine. You need to get yourself out of the mindset of it's a job. So what I mean by that is that your business as a machine has many moving parts, many components to it. So your job is to make sure those, those, those uh, parts are all fine tuned, all working together correctly to give you the rewards you're looking for. So the first thing you want to do is realize that your business is a machine. It's not a job, it's a machine. And your machine needs to have a baseline for each process. So what is a baseline? A baseline is the fundamental, simple, most minimally viable product. So what does that look like? For an open house, what's your process for an open house? You should be able to document your step-by-step -step process that you replicate at every single open house you go to. How you book that open house. How you prepare for that open house. Do you put signs in the front lawn? Do you put them out on a Tuesday? Do you put them out on a Thursday? When do you do it? Do you knock on doors, invite neighbors to it? Do you have flyers? Do you prepare any paperwork in advance? When you're at the open house, what does that look like? Do you go through a checklist? Do you turn all the lights all on? What's your process for getting ready for the open house? When people come into the house, when you greet them, is there a standard way you greet people? And if you do not have that standard way, that's the problem. You need your baseline. Your baseline is step one, two, three, four, five equals X results. That's what your baseline is. Your follow-up, how do you follow up? Do you give them a call on a certain time and date? Do you send them a specific thing? Do you send everyone the same email? Do you send them all custom emails? What your follow-up is, is your process. So what you want to do is you want to create a baseline for every single process in your business. That's open houses, that's buyer tours, that's listing appointments, that's anything you can think of. Kijiji advertising, you name it. You need to have a process that you could write on a piece of paper and say, this is what I do, A, B, C, D, E, and it results in my goal. Analyze and iterate and test your hypothesis. What I mean by that is once you've established a baseline for your, your product, once you've established a baseline for your machine, a simple, easy baseline, don't get super complex in the beginning, keep it simple, you now can start adding things to it. So let's look at the open houses again. Okay, so you have an open house, you're at the house, you, your baseline is you prepare a feature sheet and a sign-in sheet, and when people come in the door, you say, hello, thank you for my house, please come in and sign the sheet. That's your baseline. And then what you do is you do a simple follow-up afterwards. You send them an email saying, thanks for coming through. I'd love your feedback. You do that for a few weeks. You see the results you get from that. Now what you do is you start adding things to it. You test things out. So you say, okay, instead of just sending an email thanking them for coming through my open house, now I'm going to send them an email with other properties in the area that I think are really good. And I'm going to give them a follow-up phone call on top of the email and send them. So I'll do this now for the next three weeks with every single open house I do and see the results that gets me. Track your results. Do you get more clients signed? Do you get more buyer tours booked from this experience? What you're doing is you're basically testing your, your ideas of, is this gonna improve my business or is this gonna take away from my business? And as you build upon your baseline, you'll get a stronger, uh, better cash machine that spits more money out you, sorry, more money out at you. Final point, be consistent and persistent. Whatever you do in your business, it must be consistent. The worst thing you can do is be a grab bag agent where you're pulling out a new thing every day, no idea what you're doing, how you're going to accomplish it. If every client's different, if every showing you do is different, if every open house is unique, you're doing it wrong. And you're not going to see the results you want. You may get lucky sometimes and sell a house or get a client, but you can't replicate because you don't know what you did correctly and what you did wrong. When you lose a client, do you know why you lost that client? Do you know what the mistakes you made? If you don't have a systematic approach to see, well, here's the error I made, you can't learn from your mistakes and you won't get any better. So the goal here is to realize that your machine, your business is a machine. It's a cash machine and you treat it as such. Every process in your machine is a cog in the wheel and you need to make sure that those cogs are well-oiled, well-tuned and that you are consistently using them and being persistent in whatever you're doing in your business.